the time of year for parents to start thinking about things like summer injuries. They range from everything to overheating, bumps and bruises, playing sports. 7 News' is Christine Scarpelli is live in Anderson this morning where Anbed Health is getting ready for a big event there. Hey, Christine. Hey guys, good morning. That's right. Yeah, really exciting event. The Teddy Bear Clinic is coming up this weekend. This is a chance really for children that might be a little nervous about a couple procedures, maybe getting a shot or being listened to with a stethoscope to be a little bit more comfortable. How do you pull this off? Absolutely. We have over 30 AMED Health departments that will be here as well as our local fire, police departments, MedShore Ambulance and our own. Life flight helicopter will be here with the crew. This is an opportunity for kids to come, bring their teddy bear, and help ease some of those medical fears. I love that. And just looking into a helicopter is so neat as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Get a chance to sit in our helicopter and meet the flight crew. Very cool. All right. And some other things we're going to be talking about. We've got Safe Kids Anderson. Jackie's here with us talking about car seat safety. You know, we're even probably going to see some moms coming out this morning. How in the world do I install this car seat? There are different safety procedures. What are we talking about? Yes, well, we actually have five things that we really need to focus on. That's the selection of the car seat. Are you using the correct one? Um, the location of it, you know, where is it being put in the car, in the vehicle? The direction of the car seat, are we installing it rear facing or forward facing? The installation, are we getting a correct installation? And then are we harnessing our kids correctly in these car seats? And then when you take all those things into account, you take into account that the vehicle has their own manufacturer's instructions for how you can and can't do things in that car. Wow. The car seat has installation instructions for what you can and cannot do with their car seat and people just don't play well together. So it can get really confusing. Absolutely, there's all different kinds, right? You were telling me about the rear facing one, how it can last a little bit longer than maybe one, one of these and, or a flashier one. Right, exactly. So we have rear facing only seats. We have convertible seats that can rear face and then forward face. We have forward facing only seats that can also become a high back booster and then later a backless booster. And then over here beside the demonstrator seat, we have a high back booster. And after we move from those steps, then we have to do the seat belt fit test and we have to make sure that our kids fit in those seat belts. Wow. And you, you know, this is such a great thing. You're going to have this out here Saturday. You're going to be able to show people with, yes. with that. And we'll be actually in their vehicles. Oh. We'll be climbing into their cars. You'll just pull your car right up through our tent. We'll get in there. We'll educate you on the type of seat that you have. We'll make sure that you're using it correctly, make sure those kids are harnessed correctly, and we'll be able to give you a good to go. Jackie, thank you so much for taking the time. And also going to be firefighters and police out here doing that too, so your kids can meet them. Parents can learn about this. There's really something for everybody. Guys, we're going to be out here continuing through the CW, talking about the different kinds of car seats, so we'll send it back to you. All right, Christine, guess what? There's more, by the way. Yes, there's more. You'll see an ambulance, a life flight helicopter. Police and firemen will also be there to inspect car seats. Again, this is happening at the Women's and Children's Campus on East Greenville Street. It's Saturday from 9 until noon.